Hi there, I'm Annette Woods and thanks for joining us once again on Face Off. Our guest today couldn't have come at a better time, Dr. S. Murugesan, who claimed that he is no longer active in politics, wants to take a break, but doesn't seem that way. Dr. welcome to Face Off. Okay, good to be in Face Off. Okay, yes. great. And a resident guest, Ernie Chen, how are you doing today? Good, great, good <laughs> to have you here tomorrow. Good, good to be here. Yeah. Okay, are, are, you, are you ready to yes. face the draws? <laughs> um, uh, have you retired or are you still active? What's happening? No, I've not retired. Uh -huh. I've resigned as sec chair okay. to give uh, more time for me to spend time with my family mm -hmm. and to concentrate on my business and my legal practice. Um, so is that taking priority now from politics because politics is for the people? Are you not working for the people anymore? Uh, I am, but the thing is I, I always believe charity starts from home. There's no point in you preaching, you know, to the whole nation. You know, to, you have to bring up a good family or to bring up your children in a, in a particular way. But uh, you don't when you don't have enough time to uh, spend with your family and to raise your children. So before that, it was more important to serve the people, and that's why you went politics, and your family well taken care. So now you made a, a twist. Are you going to twist again if you come back? Yeah. Again? No, no. You see, it's, it's a matter yeah. of, of a priority. You see, when I first entered into politics 12 years ago. Somebody told me, that, look, politics is a marathon, it's not a s sprint. And, uh, but I've noticed for the last 12 years, from the day that I entered politics, I've been sprinting all the while. I've How been long has it been? Uh, since 1999, and from day one, I've been, um, somewhere or other, I've been thrown into position as a secretary of the Division Youth mm -hmm. Secretary, which was where you have a lot of work to do. And uh, I've been in those positions throughout. Or oh, is it throughout. because you lost at Kota Raja? Uh, I thought that... Uh, gave a, a reason to pause and to look back. I think politicians need to stop for a while and take stock, uh, take a step back and look at a larger picture. What do you think you lost? What, what happened? Uh, basically, the people in Kotaraja decided to vote for Kadilan. Why? And yet, Is it because you were not serving them and doing your no, job? No, you see, that, 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 that was uh, a new uh, constituency for me. Mm. And in fact, uh, I was uh, sent in there at the last minute. Uh, so who sent you there? Whose fault was it to was it position you there to were lose? Were you like a sacrificial lamb? Because you did no, say, I would not say that. I would not say that. that. You see, yeah. I would not say that. You see, the thing is, in um, choice, choosing a candidate is something very difficult. All parties must agree and there's so many components to it. There's so many elements to it. And it's a delicate balancing act. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I, I felt that uh, I was sent there because that's the decision that was done. I was not, of course, I was not keen in, in because contesting. Dato, I, I did, I did, I do remember that uh, b just before GE thirteen, you you said that if you were given Kota Raja, that's it, gone. <laughs> no, but not only that. Uh, towards the end, I was in fact uh, wanted not to contest and mm -hmm. concentrate on the overall uh, campaigning. So why did you not bother at all? Why didn't you just say that's it? I'm not going to be even contesting. No, mm -hmm. I, I did. Yeah, why did you not, if you no, know but you're you not going to win? But the thing is, you know, it, it's, it's not so simple. You know, when you're the Secretary General and there's the President, you know, discussing. And he said, look, uh, you must contest here. Don't you think as an internal from MIC leadership trying to just get you out of the whole picture? You're the Gen. No, we want you no. to lose. It's a bad seat. Isn't no. that a plot? No, I, 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 I don't uh, subscribe to that kind of constituency theory. Uh, I'll think that probably for that particular constituency, um, I was considered the, 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 the candidate with, with the least amount of resistance mm -hmm. or, or, or the, the, the candidate with the best chance, it, although I lost. So it, you're saying that no matter who was placed in that seat would have lost from MIC? I would not say that. Or even from no, 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 the thing is, is uh, you see, uh, hindsight is, is, is a beautiful thing. You can now see it. But at that time, we thought, you know, the, the, the nation as a whole, we thought if uh, overall we do well nationwide, and if we really give a good push in Kota Raja, we might be able to do it. Because, you know, uh, if you look at the two uh, state seats, there was a good chance of us winning, you know, in, in Sri Andalas and Sri Muda. So the calculation was, look, uh, if things all things go well, that we might be able to win that seat. So the, the best person, and they thought, send me that. So, so in hindsight, well. yeah. who would be the winnable candidate for that seat? I will not know. You know, you, you will not know until you, you send or the, the opposition is just or, too or strong could, there. Or, yeah, it could yeah. be just be that. You know, the, the mm. margin is so big and uh, mm. the, the difference is so big. Okay. Did, did that af affect your own confidence to want to continue in politics? That's why you're taking a break? No, it, it is not. I thought that loss is a good uh, reason to take stock 
because you know sometimes you're, you're spending all the time and you're just rushing and you're you're there nitty gritty looking at the details you will not be able to see the larger picture so okay. i thought take a stop pause and step back and see hey what's the overall picture so when are you coming back uh, for the party like no i've not when left i've not left yeah. uh, i'm still uh, active as a cwc member mm -hmm. whether i'm going to uh, contest for any other post or even retain that that is a decision that i'll make later mm -hmm. but i thought for the time being i think it's good for me to take a step back and, and look at the overall picture. Who are you aligned with with regards to MIC? If not, are you know, you're going there as a lone ranger? Or are you aligned with a few individuals to be contesting? I think that the, the, the culture of saying that you're aligned with somebody, I think that is one of the things that it must go. I think each leader must be able to offer himself as a leader and say, this, this is my idea, this is my plan for the society and for the uh, party. And um, of course, Within the party or within any organization, you'll have like-minded people, people whom you think that you can work well with. So that you can you work with, with Sami Velu and his people? I can, yes. I can work with uh, Dr. Sami Velu, Dr. Chipalnivil, Dr. Subramaniam, uh, Dr. Saravanan. Because the, the no, no word issues. has it that you were against uh, Dr. Sami Velu who sacked you. You see, yeah. I, I'm not Some against Dr. Sami Velu per se. Uh -huh. There was a time that uh, there were certain actions of his that I disagreed with, which I felt as a lawyer that uh, are not in line with the constitutional mm -hmm. interpretation of the, our constitution. So and he was abusing of power? No, no. Uh, let me just finish this. So I, I, I felt that it was my duty to poison out my, my opinion okay. on that. And when I did that, I knew uh, what will be the consequences. I expected the consequences and he said to me and I accepted it. What in was fact, it that you were against? Uh, th there so was a removal of members uh, during a particular time. He was sacking members. Uh, but th there was a power for him to do it mm. in the constitution. Mm -hmm. But I felt that uh, that he should not have exercised those powers. Mm. So if you felt he did not, he was not supposed to, should not have exercised those powers. Mm. Was he abusing his powers? Uh, well, saying abusing his powers, it's uh, you uh, you're moving one step further. Uh, but you know, sometimes when you look at a constitution as a lawyer. You know, you can interpret it this way or mm -hmm. you can in interpret it that way. But my interpretation is that, that he should not have availed himself of those powers. But the powers were there. Okay, so he was sacking people uh, for no apparent reason or there were no grounds to, to sack no, them? No, he, he had the reasons. He had yeah, reasons. Because they were not uh, for him. They were not supporting him. No, I, I don't think that was the reason why he sacked them or he said. But he felt mm -hmm. that at that time uh, that... Uh, whatever dissatisfaction within the party should not be voiced out in media, mm -hmm. that uh, you should not express your dissatisfaction. But that wouldn't give a good reason for him to sack them, right? I, I felt that because the, the people who are asking to step down, mm. uh, it, where he exercised the power, it was concerning himself, where I, I felt that it would have been better if those individuals were referred to the disciplinary committee. Do you like Datuk Sri Sami Belu? Uh, I have a lot of respect for him. Uh, he has done a, a lot for the community and he has uh, 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 been a good leader. Are you on talking terms with Yes, in, on very good talking terms. Mm -hmm. So personally, we have nothing uh, that, uh, you know, it's not like I personally dislike him or, no, I personally, I, in fact, it was a difficult choice for me to do personally. Mm -hmm. uh, Were you happy when because, he lost? Because he appointed. Uh, yeah. yeah, sure. Were you happy when he lost it? No, of course called? no, of course not. No, no. Uh, he's no longer in the picture in that sense that physically he's not supposed to be in the picture. Yeah. But a lot of people keep still he saying still that. He still calls the he, shots. He huh? still calls the shots. Yeah. No, I don't think he calls the shot. But, you know, uh, being president for 30 years, he has got a lot of influence. But there's a difference between and calling the, the shots. there? Yeah, but he, the son came on his own. I mean, uh, th th that much you have to give it to him, that uh, he came on his own merit. Well, if it was somebody else, uh, they would even, in fact, uh, risen up to the hierarchy even faster. But I think he came on his own. Mm. Mm. Are, you, are you looking forward to become the first uh, president of MIC to really bring about changes in the future? No, I'm not looking towards that. Uh, are you people president out there, material yeah, for MIC? There are people out there who said that you should be uh, the president. You are a no, people good can guy have, uh, and you should be the president. People can have views, uh, have opinions about so many things. But whether you are... Uh, whether you want to do it, you want to step up to the plate and, and take so the So do you challenge. have the aspiration to be ultimately the president of MIC because they need good leaders such as yourself to bring changes? Uh, right now, I don't have any such aspiration. But um, 
No, that, these are not just coming from us, you know. It's mm. been said on Facebook, you know, people out there. These are people, the public. Okay, saying, you know? this is one of the, the, the common mistakes made by uh, the our uh, misconception. Or I don't say mistake, misconception about the public. You see, sometimes someone who's popular amongst the public, amongst the people, might not uh, be able to win the votes in the party. Sometimes uh, gaining the votes in the party might be different from getting the... But isn't what the party should be all about? It's all about the yes, people. Yes, should be. You see, but sometimes uh, uh, the system works in such a way that it becomes a closed system that... Uh, it's a closed system or a flawed system? Yeah, and can we, a, uh, can we change it? Can we change this Of system? course, there, uh, mm. a lot of changes need to be done. Uh, the president, of uh, Dr. Palniwil, he sees that as well. Uh, the, the voting system has to be changed. Uh, a lot of things has to be changed and that is why uh, I think he's proposing a constitutional amendment after the party election. He's known as a statement minister. What do you have to say about that? Because he doesn't ever talk to the media, he doesn't talk to the press. Uh, he just makes press Despite statement. being in the press before, the press. He, he, he himself no, was I, a reporter. I, 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 I disagree with that, um, that, uh, that name. But uh, he is a person who does not seek too much of publicity. He does not seek too much of attention to himself. But um, it's easy to underestimate Dr. Sriji Palnivel. Mm. But if you is see, is he hiding something? That's no, he's why not. He's not. He's not. Really no, he's not. He's not. Uh, I think he feels there's more need to get things done than to issue out statements. But of course, being a politician, sometimes I personally feel that you need to come out and explain or put it out to the people for them to know and make a judgment. But of course, different leaders have different style, and that is his style, and I respect that. Okay. Seriously, um, Ernie had that question, and mm. which I, w I would actually like to probe further. You know, you say that it depends on whether the people in the party would choose you as president. But you yourself, mm. what? How do you feel about that sort of suggestion from Ernie, and also some of our friends also on, uh, on social media?